This is a maths maths question on parametric and Cartesian equations. We have been told that the Cartesian equation C1 is this here, and the parametric equation C2 consists of these two equations, and we want to find the coordinates of the points of intersection. To do that, you're essentially just equating the two together by substitution. So we can sub in x equals t squared here, and the entire thing is squared, plus y squared, which is 2t squared, this is equal to 9x, which is t squared, minus 4. That gives us t to the power of 4 plus 4t squared. We are expanding this and this. Minus 9t squared, I'm going to bring it over, plus 4 equals 0. That simplifies to plus 4 minus 9, which is minus 5t squared, plus 4 equals 0. If it helps, you can see here that this is a hidden quadratic because we have one power that's double the other. So you can visualize this as y squared minus 5y plus 4, if it helps. That factorizes to y minus 4, y minus 1. So that means here we've got t squared minus 4 and t squared minus 1 equals 0. So where our parametric and Cartesian curves intersect, it would be the solutions to this equation here. And we can set these both to 0 to get t squared equals 4 and t squared equals 1. Therefore, t is equal to plus or minus 2. And t squared can also be equal to plus 1 or minus 1. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our t values into our parametric equations to get our x and y coordinates. So when t equals 2, 2 squared is 4. So x is 4 and 2 times 2 is 4. When t equals minus 2, Minus 2 squared is also 4. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. t equals 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And minus 1 gives us minus 1 squared, which is 1. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. These are our four coordinates of intersection.